Hello, everyone, and welcome to another week of Adam versus James on TheEndStep.com. Uh, this is James, and uh, I'm going to be going over my deck that I'm playing today. Um, this is a deck. Uh, this the strategy is not new by any means, and by that I mean omniscience. Uh, but this this version is pretty much my my pet creation that I've come up with. So I like to call it Enter the Maniac, and uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. So I am playing Omniscience, which is my proxy card. Unfortunately, we don't have one, which is really weird. But I am playing Omniscience and Enter the Infinite. Um, this is kind of like a combo together, where if I get Omniscience on the table, I can play Infinite for free and win the game. Um, so to accomplish that, I'm playing a bunch of ramp spells. So I'm playing four Farseek, three Ranger's Path, and two new card, Urban Evolution from Gate Crash. Um, I really like Urban Evolution because the, obviously you draw three cards and get to play additional lands. It's kind of like a little mini Sphinx's Revelation, and it's it's relatively cheap. It's five mana, and very frequently I can play that on turn you know three. Um, with uh, with all my other ramp spells, I'm also playing two Chromatic Lanterns for a little bit of ramp and mana fixing. So one of my win conditions, uh, Door to Nothingness, is actually uh, relevant. Um, so like I said, Omniscience is like my main Omniscience and the Infinite is my main kill condition. So uh, how it works is thus. So I play Omniscience, either by ramping, well, mostly by ramping into it, obviously, which is very simple to do. 10 minutes is not that hard when you're playing all these ramp spells. Uh, I cast Omniscience, and then I'll use one of my tutors, which I'm playing three increasing ambitions, to find Into the Infinite. Then I get to play Into the Infinite for free and draw my entire deck except one card, which is usually just a land, I just put it back. And my entire deck will have a Laboratory Maniac in it. So I then play Laboratory Maniac for free with Omniscience, and then play a Faithless Looting and I win the game on the spot. Um, or any draw spell that I happen to have in my hand, which would be like Urban Evolution or Sphinx's Revelation if I have some mana open, whatever. So like that's the core of the deck, and I've, I've attempted to build a deck around that core, and uh, with my main focus being a combo win condition. So I have a lot of cards that support that win condition. Um, I have a Counterflux to fight over the Vital Turn. Um, I have a Treasured Find to get back any piece from a Griever that I need, and uh, this card is actually really, really good in this list because I can get an increasing ambition back off of my omniscience. Um, like if I cast an ambition earlier in the game and I don't have the mana to flash it back as well as play my omniscience, I'll play my omniscience and then play my treasure find for free, get back my increasing ambition, and then play it for free with omniscience letting me tutor again. Um, it, this card really lets you like win on the spot versus waiting till the next turn, which I, I find really, really good. Um, also playing two main deck duresses to bait out any counter spells or any cards that may interact with my um, Laboratory Maniac, like if they try to kill it or Lightning Bolt or, or anything. Um, so, so just basically, if, if I if I ever resolve Omniscience, I have almost very high chance of winning the game. Right? If, I, if, if I ever resolve Enter the Infinite, I'm pretty much guaranteed to win the game. Um, so yeah, that's my main main kill condition, is the Laboratory Maniac combo. I also have the Door to Nothingness as like a secondary kill condition because this does a very good job. I can definitely cast it with all the mana that I have and uh, Chromatic Lantern. Um, so like I said, all the other cards are based around that and based to support that. So I'm playing Three Sphinxes Revelation as like, you know, card draw and survivability. And then I'm playing my Anti-Aggro Package, which is my fourth Ragtusks main, um, because I can also kill you with Ragtusks if that comes up. Two Fogs to buy Tommy into super aggressive decks, which I can almost definitely win if I can hit my, my land drops uh, as I want. And four Supreme Verdicts as well to keep the aggro decks in control and give me all the time that I need. So that that's basically the main deck and that's how it works. Um, the other thing to note is I'm only playing 24 lands, which I feel like could be one too shy. Uh, I do I am considering playing a 25th, so that's something up for contention. Um, the, the mana base is mostly uh, blue, not mostly blue-white, but lots of white and lots of blue. Uh, to play my verdicts, uh, and and it's base green to play all my ramp spells, obviously. Um, I do have all five colors, and I am playing red, both for Faithless Looting, Dirty Nothingness, and my Utility Lands, which are like my third or fourth win condition. I'm playing a Keswick Wolf Run, which I, you know, will pump all my men into my Thrag Tusks, usually killing you in the process, you know, fireballs are pretty good. And then I'm also playing a last-minute change of Alchemist Refuge. This is to play around a lot of uh, control decks. If I have enough mana, which is quite a bit of mana, and they tap out, I can literally win on their turn. Uh, I give everything flash, and I can play everything at instant speed. Omniscience instant speed, and the infinite instant speed, laboratory mana instant speed. Just, I just win on their end step. It's pretty sweet. Um, so that's my main deck, and I'll move over to the sideboard right now. 
All right, so here's the uh, sideboard for my Enter the Maniac deck, as I like to call it. Um, I'm playing a pretty heavy anti-aggro package. Um, I feel like my Maniac's already pretty good, but this just like seals the deal. And this also turns me into a more of like a Bant mid-range kind of deck if I if I have to play that game. Um, lots of value on Sinto Healers and Restoration Angel. And uh, Silk Lash Spider is for any Falconrath Aristocrat, uh, Thunder My Hellkite deck. Uh, you know, and it, it just blocks very well, and it's really cheap for my deck to play, so it comes out really early. Um, a Pavi Needle is a catch-all answer to any, any ability lands that I care about or Planeswalkers. Uh, another Duress for matchups where I feel Duress is really relevant, you know, can, uh, any deck playing counter spells or uh, uh, Planeswalkers or any any, any kind of uh, non-creature, non-land permanent. Uh, Ray of Revelation is to hit, like, any kind of enchantment hate. Um, not, like, something I'm, like, terribly afraid of, but it's a good card. Uh, and it gets the job done, and it, it doubles up. So if, like, I have to pass a turn, and they manage to Oblivion Ring or Detention Sphere or something of mine, I can easy, very easily get out of that situation. Um, which Bane Orb is uh, a pretty high concession to something like Nefalia Drownyard, and um, Rakdos' Return, or Burn Spells, or um, Bonfire, if they still have it in their deck for some reason. Um, it hits a lot of relevant spells, and again, the mana cost is really actually cheap for me, because I'm playing tons of Ram Spells, so this generally comes out a turn earlier than it normally would. Uh, then I have my anti-control package, and two negates, a dispel, and a curse of echoes. Um, this is all just to win more counter wars, uh, where they board in lots of uh, counter spells for like pretty much everything you have. Um, curse of echoes is kind of insane, uh, and against the right decks where they're revelationing, and you want to do that too, or they're drawing any kind of cards, you could do that as well. It's 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 pretty gross. Um, Overall, I feel like the sideboard is slightly loose. It's very last minute, and it needs a lot of tuning and fine work to the metagame that you want to take this deck into. But we play all five colors, so we have access to everything, and um, I'm pretty excited about it. So hope you enjoyed the game today. Thanks.